we, we talked about you know the start of the game and bringing you know, bringing the game to Xavier a little bit. And we got off to a quick start, I think, because of it. But uh, you know, then we we uh, and usually in past games it's been you know uh, turnovers offensively or lack of execution, and it got that way a little bit in the, in the end of the first half. But you know, today it was fouls that, that got us in trouble. We got good players sitting beside me, and then it was free throws. <coughs> excuse me. That, uh, that they got out of it, and then it became offensive rebounds. We gave up nine in the first half. We only got one ourselves, and, and uh, you know, you can't, when you have an opportunity to play against a really good team, and they're one of the best by far in the country, uh, then you're gonna have to play, not a perfect game, but you can't, you can't make a lot of mistakes in any areas. And uh, they, they got it, gave them a little confidence to make more shots. They made, you know, uh, more plays as a result. And they went from, you know, down nine nothing to start to, up uh, eight or so at, at halftime. So, you know, you, you can't do that against really good teams and, and, and uh, compliment to them. They're, they they play their roles very well. They're very balanced. Uh, you know, they can go nine deep, ten deep, and, and all make positive contributions, not just in the, in the scoring column, but in, in different ways that positively affect the game. How much, um, how much did that zone hurt you guys at the end of the first half? Yeah, you know what? It's, it, it, we didn't handle it. You know, the same way in the first game, but it, had, it really didn't have an outcome or, uh, or an effect on the outcome of the game. Excuse me. Um, you know, we if we were playing aggressively uh, as we did at the start of the game, then we probably would have found the areas that we've talked about and looked at on film. There's areas that you can take advantage of it. Uh, you know, when, when they went to the zone, we had already gotten behind, and and uh, when, when we do that, we have a tendency sometimes to, to let it affect us psychologically. I think that was more the case. What about uh, how? What about the technical foul and handle? I mean, you guys were already struggling scoring in the. Yeah, the I, I don't. I don't know what happened. Uh, I'd have to look at it on film. I don't, I don't know. But you, you feel know, like that was a big point, a key point. I mean, you never want to give free possessions and free points away. So um, you know, I, there are a lot of big and key points that that we did did not do what we needed to. Uh, that being one of them. Uh, Coach, you went very deep into your bench today, and the bench happened to be one of the biggest stats. You guys were outscored by 30. How huge was that in terms of the final result? Their bench versus our bench? Yes. Yeah, I mean, they, as I said, they played 9, 10, you know, and, and uh, the good thing about them is they get lost in the game. You know, they, I, I was just telling our guys, uh, uh, Larry Austin's not a big scorer, not a big contributor, but he's an important piece to their group because he understands what his role and place is on the team. And when you do that and you immerse yourself in, in the team and, and what uh, winning can bring about, then, then you can play a lot of guys because nobody's fighting for shots and nobody's fighting for things that, you know, sometimes players think are important. Do you feel like 